Hello everybody, welcome to NAF kickoff, round of 16 match between Keldar and his Orcs and Fonzo and his Lizardmen. In the booth with me are Fymir and Dementor. Hello. 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 Fans of the NAF style tournaments. Mm. Here we are. Lizards versus Orcs. We're not going to see a lot of uh, tactical moves here, <laughs> at least from the Orcs. Mm. Uh, so yeah, so this NAF style, both teams, 100, well, 1100, five skills, we've got five block for the lizard men. They've used their little bit of wiggle room to get a 12th player, but only two re-rolls. Uh, the yeah. Orcs have three re-rolls and an apple. A goblin, no troll, and they've got a couple of block black orcs, a couple of guard blitzers, and a mighty blow blitzer. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so with, with, <laughs> with 12 players, obviously, kill the skinks will be less less fruitful. Mm. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope so, see, bro. I hope so. Um, yeah, he's put Blackhawks on the line rather than linemen, which which seems it's weird. A choice. I think it's a yeah. Well, yeah, I think linemen are fine. Like linemen or Blackhawks are fine, but obviously bl the blitzers have to have to be able to uh, be free to uh, roam, don't they? But yeah, that is an odd thing, isn't it, to put Blackhawks instead of linemen? No, I think I'd much rather just have the. Have the Black Orcs free to move around rather than just getting hit immediately by strength four. Well, sorry, biggins, biggins. For anybody biggins. who who is yeah. new to Blood Bowl, they'll call them biggins. Of course, people who've played for the same game for thirty years tend to call them Black Orcs, even though Black Orcs are their own team and have slightly different stat lines now. Of course, yeah, it was Black Orcs on Orc teams for thirty years, so you'll you'll forgive us for saying Black Orcs <laughs> instead of biggins. <laughs> Obviously, Black Orcs have Baller and Grab and our Movement 4. Mm. Um, and have no animosity, even though they probably should, right? Yes. As it, Black Orcs should have more animosity than Biggins, I think, according to well, the law. Well, no, according to the law, actually. <laughs> actually. <laughs> actually, Black Orcs did not suffer from Orc animosity, right? Like, the Orc animosity special rule, Black Orcs were like the clever Orcs, and they didn't suffer from it whatsoever. They were just like good. They were just like good soldiers, and did not suffer from animosity. However, in Blood Bowl, orcs shouldn't have animosity because the animosity special rule was nothing to do with the animosity in Blood Bowl rule. So it's just stupid. Just because they've got an animosity, a rule called animosity in Warhammer, they decided to give them the animosity rule in Blood Bowl, which is absolutely stupid and makes no sense whatsoever. However, you could understand a black orc not wanting to give the ball to like a shitty little goblin, right? You could understand that, even yeah. though they're not unruly like normal orcs are in Warhammer. There you go. There you go. Ooh, fails the pickup. Obviously, not going to re-roll that. With, uh, plenty yeah. of things around. Surprising that he that he didn't move this Saurus over one right to uh to hold the sideline. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Super interesting. Yeah, yeah. Because now, can that blitzer? No, the blitzers can't quite get around to put any sort of pressure on. But they might. You could blitz and then. Yeah, you could run in and blitz a double G if I blitz yeah, a skink. Double G if I blitz a skink. Um, which, yeah. yeah and then double G if I threw behind him. I think probably, just take a take a two die block now. Well, it's, it's tricky, right? Because you want to be hitting with Mighty Blow, but then also you want to be blitzing positionally. And Mighty Blow on armor 10 plus isn't that good. No. But that's what he's we'll going to do. What he does. We'll see what he does. Also, the problem, that, the problem that he's got here is he's got guard on his on his blitzers, right? And the blitzers do not want to be touching Saurus at all. The yeah. Blitzers yeah. Want to be this is a, I think this game is the perfect counter for the Orc team. Mm. That's the that's the thing you've got. You've got you, basically as orcs, you've got your four black orcs and your three linemen, and they want to be one v one versus the the big guys, and then your four blitzers want to be one v one on their skinks. 
Uh, but obviously yeah. that's very, very hard to accomplish. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I think this is very much in favour of the Lizardmen. My yeah, experience you, of the matchup has been very If you build them season. with guard biggins and then rookie blitzers, it's a it's a bit easier. But mm. uh but with, with the guard blitzers it'll trick it'll be tricky. And he's gone halfway in here, which is weird. Mm. Uh he can pretty No, you can't two dice that one. You just bit... Yeah. You can't get all of them away, but Ah uh, you can. Okay. You've got three people in contact in a blitz, so I guess. <laughs> is there any? There's not an easy way to do it though. Is the there? Crocs has got a block, but that's all. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That was my. That was my you're like the uh, you're like the Gazer of Blood Bowl, Dimmy. Just Crocs, block block in. <laughs> Crocs block early on two dice, where there is mild pressure on uh, not pressure on the ball at all actually. Oof! Well, he went for he went for this line or. He really didn't need to. Yeah. But it saved him the dub skulls from the Crocs, I guess, but it's cost him a reroll, so... I feel oh, yeah. not activated yet. Yeah, not much wiggling room for the lizard. No, that's, that's not what I would have done. Um, I would have just covered the ball and then, you know, eaten the dub skulls, honestly. But, I mean, I would have hit with the Crocs and eaten the dub skulls from the Crocs. Uh, but he, he, sa he saved the Crocs dub skull. Like, the Crocs would have turned over, right? That's the thing. If you're taking the Crocs block... And rolled up skulls either turned over, but that might have been better than using a reroll. <laughs> yeah, now you've got one reroll for six turns, and uh, you might be in trouble. Mm. Evan, this turn is not over. Yes, but well, now, now it is. Now it is. I don't think he's going to use a reroll for anything crocs related. No, um, might not even. He probably should activate it, right? Oh. Hey. Yeah, it's 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 a mighty blow here. Like you know, you can't yeah. you can't live in fear of smashing people with your Crocs. Um, eleven hundred, Rainer. Eleven hundred. So a bit less than what people normally get at NAF events, right? Eleven fifty is the tournament standard, as it were. There's no actual recommended thing from the NAF, <laughs> but uh, eleven fifty is what they usually tend to run at. Yeah, it's just it's just the the place that works best for most uh, most races. Although ideally, you should give some races a little bit less, like dwarves eleven hundred, and then underworld give like eight hundred TV. <laughs> <laughs> give underworld, you know, six hundred. <laughs> six hundred TV, two skills, and then there may be a fifty percent team. <laughs> or maybe skills, patching skills. <laughs> Orcs and dwarves. Well, that's a thing, Seabros, right? Orcs and dwarves don't. And there's there's no undead in this either, is there? So undead obviously have the four ghouls. But yeah, there's underworld and there's lizards and there's dark elves, isn't there? Yeah. These are the yeah. Uh, who else doesn't have what dodge? Oh, you... well, nobody picked black orcs, obviously. Oh. No. <laughs> No, there's five teams. There's five teams. There's dwarves yeah. <laughs> orcs that don't have dodge, and then there's lizard men, dark elves, and underworld that do have dodge. On oh, this humans, apparently, apparently for some reason, loads. Maybe that was humans. a Spanish thing because I noticed that Andre had them, and a few of the Spanish people had them. Um, so maybe, maybe like the Spanish people all got together. The Spanish blood bowlers got together. Like blood bowl three has got together and decided let's all go humans because there's just I don't understand why this so like it wasn't a great format for humans, right? They got one more skill. It's not like yeah, that's not definitely. earth shattering. I did have a friend that they plays the that events in Spain, and Spanish, obviously Spanish guy, and he also plays humans. And yes, this is a very common uh, Spanish race. I don't know. Yeah, probably it's why they were... or getting used to it or being the the standard, you know, okay, go with humans. Yeah, they were they're also in tier one for for the World Cup for some reason. Uh, I assume that must be because of the local mess there, right? And Spanish Spanish popularity. Yeah. Uh, still quite a few people took them in the end. Yeah. Which was strange. Yeah, I Yeah, nothing nothing much interesting has happened so far, is it? <laughs> Just well, orcs and lizards smashing against each other for a bit, and we'll see. 
Will will the lizard score on turn eight? Stay tuned. <laughs> well, as, as Dimmy loves to say, it's just lizard men pretending to play a blood ball for seven turns and then <laughs> scoring, and that's that is pretty much how it goes. You know, all they have to do is not get the skinks killed. Really, like that is all yeah. they have to do. It's funny because you know the the meme of blitzing skinks, but literally all they have to do is not get the skinks killed, because that's all. That's your only objective for seven turns, because. You know, you, you're going to get into rage almost automatically. You only have to get five. I mean, technically, only three to three squares in the opposing drive, and your team's ridiculously, insanely fast and strong. So, like, it's really, really easy, really easy offensive drive in general for lizards. And all you've got to do is uh, you know, get a few squares forward. So, really, most of your focus should be on protecting the skinks and uh, not letting them get hit by mighty blow instantly. Do you know who uh, won the toss, by the way? Cause... No idea. Okay, good. <laughs> um, yeah, I think... I'll go all the way back. Uh, Naf Pizorios chose to receive. I think that's the... I think, yeah, I think the uh, lizards chose to receive. Which I like. Um, yeah. You, you, the lizards' failing point is if they've lost too many players for their offense. Why does it say Naf Pizorios? Because that's like... That's not That's the, the team. name of the team. But it's got God allow green. Oh, they're the orcs. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm stupid. No, it's also partly Blood Bowl three being rubbish, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. 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 You can't see the course. other team. Like what the hell? <laughs> well, that was also in Bubble two, wasn't it? Was it? I think so. They wow. only showed up the team. Yeah. Well, you should know this. How long? How, how long know. did you spend commentating? It should be greyed out. The other team should be greyed out, shouldn't it? Yeah. And then it comes into its own colour on its team. Yeah. Then. Yeah. It's funny because it is pretty much the same as Blood Bowl three, but I could always tell uh, Blood Bowl two, but I could always tell which team was which in Blood Bowl two, and now I can't. I really can never tell. You know which teams which on these. <laughs> Yeah. Weird. Well, yeah. Just so much less clear, right? And and because the the uh, blood bowl, it, it, it's more emphasis on each accent, isn't it? It doesn't follow there, which is weird. Because now he doesn't have two dots on that source. On either. Yeah. Yeah, that's really weird, isn't it? One uh, D. Yeah. Really weird. Maybe again, you know, maybe these guys are new to blood bowl three. Mm. Um, you never know. Of course, we might not be new to Blood Bowl three because, <laughs> as we found in the last game, but um, you know they could be, and it, it's not easy grappling with the UI. Yeah, I'm trying to yeah, and also it's such varying uh, skill levels, like we said. Last mm. cast is uh, just there's no way of knowing how good anybody is. Like in in Chalice, you had someone's record, and uh, you could say, like, this is a very good record, so they probably know what they're doing. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Do we know if they're in Wind or no? <laughs> oh, are you troll? Although they should be for the <laughs> no, they shouldn't. The tactical advantage. They shouldn't. <laughs> it's not an advantage. Oh my god! Look, this is oh. why you should have eaten it last turn. You have you... to reroll this, I think. Yeah. Um, the yeah, you probably do it to three plus to hit the ball, isn't it? Well, is it yeah. even that? Well, instantly uh, it's a three plus to hit. The yeah, ball. instantly three plus. Yeah. Yeah. So that alone makes you re-roll without even looking at the rest of the board. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even need to look at the rest of the board to know that now you have to. But yeah, if he dub skulls there, then yeah, you could punch on that guy and just get through with like a GFI maybe. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Might have been two GFIs. Yeah. I think there's going to be a dodge or two GFIs. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, two GFIs to hit the ball with Mighty Blow or a three plus. Mm. So, first guy to PM Johan wins. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because obviously the, the two two pluses. It was a was similar to a three plus right in the old rules, but now with the multiple re rolls, the two GFIs is way better, isn't it? Yeah. Super Especially interesting there. Three re rolls. 
Yeah, I was thinking about making a, uh, a sort of box because there's a um, to sort of replace Samba because it's so useful. There, there, so, there is a website. Yeah, there is a website. Yeah, so just trying to put that onto a Twitch bot and then for mm. easy, easy access. Thought we might do it. Well, I was going to do it over, um, over Christmas holidays, and then, uh, but then Jock gave me some uh, blah blah. Jock gave me some stuff to write up. Mm. He wants me to write about the Euroball rules for some reason. Mm. I think he values my opinion or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have an important person here, a writer. Not really. <laughs> I've never done anything like it before, but we'll see how that turns out. Who's on attack again? The lizards. The lizards. The lizards. Uh, this is the lizards' end zone. This is the orcs' end zone. They've even got the orc thing, so you know that these are the orcs. They're blue. They've got the thing there. That's them. These are the orcs. This is the orcs' half. This is the lizards' half. The lizards started with a ball. Oh, another um, dog's goal. Wow. This many must prove Artemis right. Mmm. <laughs> Who are the lizards? <laughs> No, we have to turn on the uh, turn on the circles, and then we can find out. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> so the lizards are the orange and green ones. <laughs> green for runners. Yep, they're not linemen; they're runners. Don't forget red for big guy. Mm. Oh yeah, and then the red big guy. Yeah. And then you can easily tell the orcs apart with orange, and then slightly different orange. Well, also, you can tell that the ridiculously, insanely bright red is different from the dark red to show you your opposing players <laughs> debated. <laughs> yep. And then the orcs, yeah, yeah. yeah, dark yellow and bright yellow, very easily distinguishable. Uh, white for linemen. Yep. It's just yeah. so close to being good, and it's just not. Mm. Okay. Well, the Orcs drive is going well because because uh, they haven't got the ball sacked yet. Although they have, they've they've lost both their re rolls, right? So it's uh, they have to get within five squares now. Yes. Yeah. This isn't this isn't not, great for the lizards. No. It's not ideal, but it's still fine. I think. Yeah. If if he, it was slightly lax turn ordering, right? He could have eaten the first up skull. He probably could have eaten the second up skull if he if he you know anticipated it. Yeah, but protect, um, you know, like if he'd moved all his team down here first and then taken the block, it would have been fine. Yeah. But as the ball is wide open, it's just yeah. Yeah, that's the thing with, with two rerolls, you've got to play like that. And as Rainer says, lizards seems do do seem sketchy at eleven hundred, right? They've got a there's no apple here for the lizards, you know. Uh, in a normal NAF event, you'd have an apple as well, wouldn't you? And uh, you just don't get that here unless you give up. A re -roll. so like you've got to you've got to give something up to get something extra. And they come in a little bit light, but either you know they've got to give up something, right? They've got to give up something, either a re roll or an apple. Yeah, and you don't you don't massively need the re rolls. I think I think if I if I was taking lizard, I'd go no bench and an apple. I think I'd be tempted by. Mm. Although all of the options are all right, maybe not the three re rolls. It's all undecided. Yeah. Whereas it, for eleven fifty, you just get everything, don't you? Which is, which is better. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Interesting. Anyway, super interesting. <laughs> super interesting. All right. Well, if, was that a blockless? Uh, well, if it was a one in nine, that was dice on the ball there, wasn't it? Uh... Because well, well, you couldn't really shore it up at all. Well, you put another skink in the yeah, side. Yeah, another skink. Yeah, another skink in the side. So if it was one in nine, it was kind of bad. But if it was dub skills, it was ridiculously bad. Yes. Yes. I mean, but you know that's going to happen like pretty much every turn now. Like it's, he's not going to be able to get around the yeah. fact that things are going to be bad. But yeah, that one would have been particularly bad. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a. Blockless block. A blockless yeah. block. And again, I don't want to be like Artemis block. here, you know. Artemis likes to be like, you know, well, that's terrible. But at the end of the day, it's, you're not playing in a vacuum, right? The, the opponent is trying to stop you and get in your way and stuff. And it's, you know, you're trying to score. You can't just only take the safest moves and hope to win sometimes. You know, you sometimes you've got to do things to try and make things happen. And uh, at the end of the day, 
yeah, that would it would have been terrible if he'd won in nine and game losing if he dub school. But you know, would it have been good enough to be a bit safer? Uh, yeah, he could have definitely made it safer before taking the block, which was, yeah. I tried to criticise in context, but yeah, he could have done. He could have done, but like you know, he's getting some payoff, isn't he? And like, but what I mean is, you can't just say it's absolutely terrible because none of his yeah. options are that good. And like now, he gets to be an extra square forward, and he gets an extra free skink forward and stuff. So like, he gets a he gets some payoff from this, and he kind of needs the payoff because he's got no re rolls and he's uh, he's under the cosh a bit. But this is a uh, instant dice on the ball, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. All he's got to do is uh, that's that's eight, isn't it? One, two, three. Yeah, it four, is. It is. But he's six, got seven, just got to chain him. But he's already given up anyway. Oh, wait, oh he, he stood up. He up? stood up. He stood oh, up. Because right. oh, it wasn't. But he, he could. If he, he could have chained this guy, right? If he hadn't stood him up, he could have chained him and hit. Yeah. But, uh, he didn't. Uh, so yeah, I, the blockless block was there. Uh, he should have moved the skink to that square. The square, like bottom left of the ball beforehand, I think. But, but yeah. Yes, I mean I would have I would have had this skink here. Or you know, this skink here and that skink there and then and then it's safe or whatever or or the ball carrier skink just one back or, or you know and then that guy there or whatever. Whatever you want to do, just you, you know, I would have made it a bit safer, but you know, you are getting things by making it but you are getting a benefit by making things a little less safe. <laughs> Generally, but you know, yeah. generally, and generally, that isn't worth it. Generally, the the little bits extra you get aren't worth the extra risk. And art seems yeah. fixated on this, just you know, extra risk being incorrect, which he's got a wrong. point versus <laughs> most people because most people are terrible. Yeah, and but it's not. It's not completely wrong. No, no, it's not well, completely wrong at all. Of course, it's not completely wrong. I mean, art's really good at blood ball. But yeah. it makes the commentary, I think, worse because, you know, he's too quick to call things absolutely terrible when they're yeah. not just absolutely terrible, which that kind of makes him look worse in a way because obviously you have people people thinking he's a bit of an asshole, And uh, <laughs> also, um, you know, it does lose out in nuance, but the, the, the orcs have abandoned their drive here, haven't they? They are fucked. This is the problem. Yeah. And this is the big problem. They have to have yeah. a better turn than this. And this is so here you've got a safe ball immediately, right? So you can just you can blitz this all crap out of the way, and then you've got all the space in the world. Yeah, blitz this one, I think. Yeah, blitz that one. I just think. Are you talking about the uh, art being too harsh because he called your last two games absolute trash? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> is that? Is no, that... just in general. Like I, I always think that he seems to he seems to go a bit. You know, overboard. Yes. Uh, that's in most things, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now you just have all the free space in the world. This, yeah, the whole team just goes through. through. Yeah, whole he leaves the Crocs behind, but that's fine. Yeah. In fact, the Crocs isn't even behind. He's he's isolating the mighty blow guy. As well. <laughs> like. Yeah. You think you take that block? Oh yeah, hundred percent. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yeah. Well. Rather than tying last up action, the, uh... last action of the turn, uh, do the Croxigor uh, block. Yeah, yeah. But it's pretty, pretty awful if you bonehead. It's pretty, bo pretty awful if you don't. Well, <laughs> I could, I could understand both doing it and not doing it. Well, I mean, if you could do both at the same time, that would One, be the two, best three, thing, yeah. Four, <laughs> <laughs> if you could both do it and not do it, yeah. If that. you could tag all of these three players without going bonehead, then yes. <laughs> it's amazing. But, you know, like, ne right, if he doesn't activate him, this orc goes one, two, three, four, he punches him, and you've got two players free. But yes. if you if you if you bonehead, okay, it's it's you're only losing like two guys who are slow anyway, and you, you can only get that far anyway. So you, you're only really freeing up one guy if you bonehead. Whereas if you pow here, you've got this guy down, this guy's taken up, and then the two guys who are free or slow. So it's it's way better to take the block. Okay, that's my opinion. As a blood ball expert, um, <laughs> you know you could you could argue with me, but. Uh, Seems it's my channel. <laughs> you would lose. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> but no, I'm, I'm takes... pretty confident that's correct. But again, we'll never know, right? We'll we'll never get. Yeah, he takes sausage. care uh, of two pieces more dangerous than the ones he was uh, tagging. So yeah, it's a net win there. And if you're unlucky, well, you're unlucky. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you, you can't live in fear of bad dice. Well, I mean, you can, but you shouldn't always. <laughs> I can I just don't play Blood Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Exactly, that's the way, that's the way. It's the easiest way to do it. Um, I like the skinks around the ball here. Because uh, it means you can you can't really put that much pressure on, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's it's natural as well, right? Like you put your swords out there with the holders and then a bunch of skinks up behind them and it's all all very nice. Yeah. But yeah, that was a real bad turn from the orcs, they just let them let them get through and it was already hard like it was it was already hard the turn because the turn before they had all the players down here didn't they they'd kind of over pursued the turn before which left them thin up here and, yeah. and, and again the extra the extra bit of risk he took with that blitz last turn allowed him to have the extra things up here a bit as well so you know it's it is it's super interesting isn't it mm. although he was it was one square clear anyway i think but I'm just splitting hairs at this point, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's massively easy stall, isn't it? It's pretty easy, yeah. <laughs> uh, you have to do a one thirty-six here to get away from get away from that black orc. But apart from that, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. It is, I mean, you can't avoid one thirty-sixes like that. Literally yeah. impossible now to avoid one in thirty sixes. Well, you could have not rerolled the earlier blocks. <laughs> well, yes, <laughs> yes, but now that's why I said <laughs> now, now, now you can't avoid it. Yeah. Now the lizards have a very easy turn. Just uh, hit the piece base in the ball, blitz the mighty blow piece, and you can uh, get a perfect cage without any uh, danger that yeah. any orc. Catching Ooh. you, done it. I, I would have like definitely that. blitzed the mighty blow. Yeah, I would have definitely just blocked that guy and blitzed the mighty blow. Yeah, I mean, it's just... yeah, I, mm. I agree on the blitz and the mighty blow. Get that fella out of there. But this is a safe double screen, anyway, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now you're not going to have to rely on. Well, as long as you do double screen. Just don't let don't let them touch your balls. Basically, you don't want to have to make a one thirty six block. Uh, yeah. Time for a play for the ages. So he can, uh, he can, he can, he can, he can, uh, he can like blitz a Saurus here and then make make Fonzo make a, uh, a two or three dice block. <laughs> With block, mm. but it's a chance, isn't it? It's a chance. Yeah. Whereas he could have just had the skink, like he could have had, like you know, the ball on the on the sideline or whatever, and then it's just totally safe. Right? Yeah. Yeah. One square further to the left. Well, the thing is, mm, yeah, the 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 mm, it's hard to double screen here perfectly if you don't blitz the. Uh, if you don't blitz the mighty blow guy. Yes, I mean he should have he should have blitzed the mighty yeah. blow guy. But that's the uh, that's the message here. Yeah. I already said clowns and the fear of mine. <laughs> <laughs> clowns will go three side, yeah. Yeah, I mean it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. So yep, there you go. I mean orcs, it's gone about as spectacularly it went about as well as it could have done for orcs right and it's still just gone they just got shit on with that one turn <laughs> that one turn turned them inside out yeah. completely but yeah i guess so i guess from the orcs point of view the over the over pursued big weakness of orcs isn't it like gen people in general blood bowlers in general the over pursuing is something everybody like every team can do but like orcs with it being a bit slower than most. Only a bit slower now, thanks to Biggins being ridiculous. Yeah, uh, Biggins are amazing. Yeah, if if they over pursue they can get into trouble, but like everyone can, like every even like it's probably only like Skaven that don't like right, with uh, go runners, but everything else does. 
not just over committing, over pursuing, like specifically over pursuing, because people can over commit to like uh, to a sideline, but like over pursuing is like getting people like kind of behind the ball, right? And they had like loads of people behind the ball, and if you get people, if you get people on the wrong side of the ball, you're pretty much fucked. <laughs> Um, as pretty much every team, if you get, if you like, unless you sack the ball, unless you sack the ball, getting people behind the ball is just fucking terrible. And overcommitting is, is, you know, side either side is bad as well. But then when you go when you go behind the ball, it's really really bad. An easy turn it score looks like. Yes, obviously he's not going to make a block without a reroll. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, unlike lower armor teams, if you could make a three die with block with mighty blow, then I would. But, but there is no low armor teams. In the... and there's no block there's mighty no blow either. Mighty blow. Yeah. So uh, no reason to. No. No. And e even then, honestly, even then, it's like without a reroll, I wouldn't. Well. One hundred and sixteen. I, think... I just don't think the odds of you making an impactful casualty is worth yeah, the chance of bigger than the risk of fucking up. Mm. I think even with mighty blow plus two, I like that. Would you would you take a three die block more before scoring oh, well, I mean, in a that's, game like this? That's not fair, is it? <laughs> well, yeah, but if if that's what you think about that example, I definitely thought. Yeah, that's but that's just, that's an example yeah. that can that cannot happen. You can get a mighty blow plus two. Mork, you can. And yeah, but I mean, this format you're going to see more. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe you should have done. I wonder if Underworld could have had more. I wonder if he was allowed. Uh, they weren't allowed. I think. Oh, well, there you go. So you, so you were me. saying something that couldn't happen. Right. Thank yeah, you, well. Fymir. Thank you, Fymir. <laughs> <laughs> Correct no, as always. Breaking the dreams, yeah. Breaking the dreams, yeah. Yeah, it's the same, you know, the situation there. The, no oh, or if I was, you know, in a fighter jet, you know, if I was in the X-Win, uh, <laughs> the Death Star, I feel like that, like, mate. <laughs> oh, if I were Batman, you know, if I were Batman, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah, Morg's different because your whole team's built around him, right? Like, that, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, uh, that, that's completely different. And also, it would depend on the game state as well. Like, yes. well, versus that's a team everything like this. Football, right? Versus a team like this, they've got 12 players, so even if you cast somebody, it doesn't matter. Like, the guy's literally yeah. not even getting fielded anyway, so what the fuck's the point? Definitely. So even with Morg, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't block with Morg there because he's not making a difference to the team that he's fielding in the second half. <laughs> Everything's in context, isn't it? Mm. Um, Do it sometimes. The golden rule of Blood Bowl. No one said that on PCs. Ten things I wish I knew before I started. No one said do it sometimes. They should have done. Best Blood Bowl yeah. advice there is. Do it sometimes. <laughs> also the most useless but you know <laughs> most correct it's the most correct advice <laughs> and most it's the most vague advice yeah yeah uh, so gonna foul foul with a gobble I don't I, meh, I on a block player you could Oh, even in a regular Saurus, the uh, goblins uh, fall is uh, the perfect play. I mean, getting rid of one of the Saurus is top notch, and you can get the block one, of course. Yeah. But yeah. terrible foul, I wouldn't have done that, you know, following a <laughs> calcium rockstar uh, advice, you know. <laughs> but it was the right play, too. I mean, the Gobo is not going to make any impact in the game. Yeah. yeah, I don't even know what's he, why he's in the team if he, they have an apple. Probably uh, because they have 30, pay, 30 gold uh, spare. Yeah, yeah, I assume yeah. I assume he carries the ball, maybe? Sometimes, yeah. Maybe he's not against skinks. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know, carries the ball, but... Then you're trading against whom, home, you know? I, in this format, you know, he's gonna, I don't know. Yeah, it's a good point. Yeah. You don't yeah. have enough, you know. You don't have enough guard to put around the goblin, so it's difficult to, you know, case dive and hit or something like that. Mm -hmm. 
Like maybe like yeah. two or three turns, right? Where so we can like dodge through a screen and stuff. So like maybe, maybe if they ever get the chance of a fast score, you yeah. could you could use them to carry then. But yeah, he's not very good. No, the boomer because uh, there is a limit of the skills they can get. So the goblin, uh, the only thing that is making maybe is uh, having you no know, no instead of the goblin getting cheerleaders and uh, assistant coaches to get another roll, which is a very interesting maths you know what's better having a 12th player or the chance of getting an extra roll the 12th player i'm pretty sure is better um, i think yeah, i, I but think it, yeah but it's a, yeah i mean yeah you yeah but not that much because it's a goblin i mean he's like nah. He is a goblin. He's like half a player, right? I always like to think when I'm playing orcs, if I get like you know, if I get the orc, if I get a goblin on the pitch, then I've got them down at like ten yeah. and a half or nine and a half or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's movement six, after all, you know. So... Are you fielding it? Why, why? Why is this happening? Why is the goblin there? <laughs> he is going to carry. Oh my god! Oh my god! Is the actual ball carrying? I think carrying with a blitzer was a much better option. Yeah, yeah. I'm carrying with a, with a blitzer. Yeah. Yeah, obviously no, Mister F Mister Fro, but uh, Ooh, you can't fit. Uh -huh. Two, two. Yeah, it's the same from both. I think nowadays. Mm. Not be wrong. Okay, instead of a uh, uh, the cheerleaders, I think maybe you can you buy fun factor in this format. Uh, you can. It yes, doesn't. Do anything? So you can't. Well, it it affects throw a rock and pitch invasion. The uh, the mighty blow caught the ball. By the way, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's... Yes. That's and he's not already you blocked. Want the ball. What? He's already yeah. blocked. Oh, he didn't see it, did he? Yeah, yeah. probably he didn't saw that. I, in fact, it's hard to see. Oh, did he get a touch back and then block with it and then give him the ball, trying to block with it? No, he caught it. He caught it, yeah, okay, yeah, three plus success. He rolled a six. He rolled a six with minus three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think he saw it. I don't think he saw it, and now he's like, oh, fuck. Oh, so, instant 1D oh. on the ball. <laughs> yeah, he's, got, he's got a guard here, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he's moved him forward. Yeah, he's yeah, but still, still is not where you want the ball, that's for sure. No, no, I'm sure he didn't see. I'm sure he didn't see that that he had the ball. <laughs> we'll see that player is also interesting when the block player is right right there as well. Mm. I feel like you should yeah, have blitz with block, especially when you're trying to conserve re rolls and the ball isn't safe. Yes, I mean that the block player is the Saurus. Oh, is it? Yeah. Is it not the? Oh, the yeah, the block begin. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's yeah. a block Saurus, yeah. That makes more sense. Oh, he's blocked the place! He's blocked the square oh. for, his, for his guard! <laughs> he's got a GFI. Oh, he's not he's even got, got he's there. Not even GFI. What are you doing? What? I think you've got to take that one. He doesn't what? even take the one, did he? What on earth? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Surprising images uh, here in the NFI style tournament. Not what I would, what would I have done, but uh, I can't speak yeah. of the surprise. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> <laughs> Find me a reason usually lost for words, but there you go. <laughs> Frog splits? I don't know. I'm not. Uh, that's alright, I guess. You push him out of the way and. Uh, Three dicing a guard with Mighty Blow is pretty fucking good, isn't it? And you get the crocs on the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is a. Oh. This is a good result. Ooh, no. so... Knockout as well. Mm. Uh, yeah, you've yeah. got to up all that. Like, you have to. You well, have to. Yeah. It, doesn't matter. it doesn't nil. matter. You have to up it. It's, <laughs> it's a resurrection format. Yeah. So, yes. If this yeah, was you know, up because it's a guard piece. Yeah, if this if this was like turn one of the first half, maybe you don't, right? Because maybe you think maybe I can win my drive without it. But like yeah. in the second half, you're one nil down, and there's there's less time to take more cars. Like you have yeah. to do it. The whole game's on the line. And, and what you wanna do? Save save your up for overtime. Yeah, exactly. Like players, save it. Lose players on the drive. You no no maybe in overtime. You know I wanna use the apple. 
Yeah, no, that was an instant app. Yeah. I, I, I put that all day, every day, 100 million percent. In the second half, there is no difference between any this kind of formats or kind of games, you know, with the selection format. There is no difference of using the Apple for an injury or a KO. The only difference is with the KO works always. Yeah, well, the KO yeah. stays on the pitch. That's the thing, isn't it? You know. Yeah. And the KO stays on the pitch. So yeah, that's another play on the pitch. Yeah, it's infinitely better than using it on a car. So yeah, it's yeah, that was an instant apple. He shouldn't have thought like you know maybe he was like making sure he didn't misclick, <laughs> but he shouldn't have thought about whether to apple or not for a second there. That was an instant apple. The, the boomer, are you medicated right now? <laughs> <laughs> just asking, just asking. No. I had fever dreams the last three days that made more sense than that old turn. Well, it's a bit harsh. I think he just didn't see that that guy had caught the ball because I didn't. I mean, okay, I'm not paying any attention to it. But <laughs> I can't blame the. Uh, but if I was playing, I would have been paying attention. And but it, you know, it, it's understandable, right? The UI is horrendous, and he could be new to Blood Bowl three, in particular. Yeah. Um, and just not realised he had the ball, and he made the blocks on the LOS, and right, right now I'll go and pick up the ball with a goblin, and then, oh shit, this guy's already <laughs> got it. I'm yeah. pretty sure that's what happened. I like that square for the skink, by the way, because it, otherwise it's a very easy clear-off. It's still quite easy to clear. You just have to blitz the skink now. You think this is blitz. an easy clear? Isn't it? You blitz no. the skink, and then you 2D with the black orc, and then you 2D with the other black orc. All you can, can do chain. is one... All you can do is one... Oh, chain off, yeah. You can chain, chain off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The only problem is that you don't have your blitz to clear the ball again if it's not a power. Yeah, yeah. So you need to power two blocks in a row. But um, so what? Is... You've got guard. Oh yeah, you haven't got guard. So so it's still pretty. Yeah, you, now it's still pretty easy. So you punch the skink, and then the guard of blitzers comes in, and then he punches and clears. Yeah, yeah. This is. So that's not how I would have done it. No, this is not the way. Well, no, it can it can work. No, this can be the way. Yeah, yeah. this can be the way. But now um, you've got to you've got to like power the skink, or make a one D blitz. Oh, power the skink and then blitz from. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is this is all right. I think. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Gets the power. Oh, that's the blitz. Okay, no, that's terrible. <laughs> that's, 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 what the hell was that? That must be a misclick or something. No, I mean, it's a blitz, so you have to you have to actively select the blitz before you do it. But yeah, if this had just been a block, then he could have yeah. blitzed with this guy, got the 2D from the two assists, and then powered, powered the, this guy, put him over there or whatever, and then cleared him, but now he's just going to have not, to... He's doing the 4 plus dodge. Or a 3 plus handoff, one of the two. Yeah... Then your mighty blower gets mighty blowed. Was the problem? Well, yeah, uh, but, it's a, but it's a one in nine to lose the game instead of a one in four. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. And here we go. Yeah, you uh, hand off. Oh, have we got the replay bug. The the reroll bug. Oh, do. Oh it's, no, it's, it's gone blue. It's gonna be blue for the rest of the game. Do you want to quit out quickly and then come back in and see if it fixes itself? Yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. A well functioning video game. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, that, that's a book for the replay or for the game? For the. I think it's. I hope it's for the replay. Yeah, well, we'll find uh, out. We'll find out. Yep, it's okay, okay now. It. All, right, all right, I have to admit that it loaded really fast. Yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah, to be fair, it got in really quick. Yeah. Okay, scatters the ball. Yeah, I quite like the scatter there. Yeah. Things can happen like that. Oh, that's a, that's a great. That is a that's a roll. nice square you have there. Yep. Yeah, and now. Now the lizards get their second defensive drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody yeah, more conservative, well, less conservative than Elliot might say it's over at this point. <laughs> but uh, Elliot would quite... definitely not say it's over, but. I don't think there, there are still ways. Now, now for... is when an orc dies, and just yeah. finally, you know, is the last uh, nail in the coffin. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think this the, he needs to fail this pickup for it to be a game. I think. Yeah. Because as it stands, he just blitz that guy off and then score on the next few turns. Yeah, you can even blitz with this guy as well to get a better angle. So he's done it wrong. <laughs> could you? Wait, how could you blitz? 
Wait, what? He's got he's got a guy behind the crocs. All oh, right. So that's just yeah, a better blitz angle, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, it is. And then on a push, he's he's over there. So because he kind of had to had to get a power here. Yeah, that's better. Um. Wow. Oh. Well, I mean, the crocs in there is better. And he's actually not doing much where he is, so that's actually a pretty good box yeah. activation. Yeah. Wait. What was that dodge? Why not going for the ball? He is. Yeah, yeah he, he is. is. He's just going to punch things first. Yeah, there's, there's a skink next to the uh, proxy ball that can pick up the ball. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, he should have gone for picking up the ball first before doing that block and that uh, dodge with the skink. Yeah, this, this there... skink just moved. The skink just moved. Just move. Did they have to dodge? No, no. The the dice roll was the bonehead. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> then yes, makes perfect sense. Yeah. Okay, picks it up. So he got the ball, not back. like the stupid goblin. And now runs back. Well, doesn't run back quite yet. Well, he probably should, right? Yeah. This isn't this isn't safe because this guy can get hit and the the thing's yeah. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. So. Castle. I guess it's still it's still in the way, isn't it? Actually, it's still pretty safe. Thinking about no, well, no, you can immediately and then, and then you have a you have a follow up hit as well if you don't power first, and you just immediately have two dice. You stand up the guard, then you, you there's just a path right through. Oh yeah, right. yeah. I don't know. There is a blitzer yeah, if so, uh, so yeah, this is Saurus... He has to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Has... You you need to go back more, at least three squares back. Here, yeah, but yeah, it's probably You're a fucking skig. <laughs> just do what yeah. you want. Yeah. He's like a gutter runner, isn't he? Just fuck yeah, off. It's, it's, it's it's disgusting. It's, just get out of range of that the uh, menacing looking uh, blitzer that is free at the. <laughs> mm. Yeah, like if this this Saurus just had to stand here, right? That that's yeah. why I would have activated the Crocs because, or maybe I wouldn't have, but I thought it was an okay activation if this Saurus stands here. Yeah, but if this with this saw is going in here, it's just really, really, really bad. Yeah, he can't stay there. He just but just run away. No, you can't stay there. I don't know what's happening. Ah, yeah. now, now, nice. now he gets it. Nice. And yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> yeah, we'll nice. see if anything else happens, but. That is probably GG, yeah. I mean, that is quite the ball steal. He's turned defense into offense, and uh, both still got full teams. Yeah. Looking very Yeah, not noticing, not noticing the uh, the ball on the Mighty Blow guy was uh, detrimental there, to say the least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little, uh, some, you know, equity shift there, you know. Uh... <laughs> Just a minor one. I'm sure that's what it was though, he's just like, do my LS blocks, right, I'll go and pick up the ball, wait a minute! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he can hit skinks though, can't he? He's got, he's got the, he's got the plan F versus, <laughs> versus lizards, which is try and punch skinks and hope you get lucky. Yeah, men in front of the ball indeed. <laughs> 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 yeah, but that is honestly that is really good having men in front of the ball. That's it's what it's what lost them defense in the first half. So at yeah. least this time they have men in front of the ball. Can three dice this skink? Not terrible. And uh, two dice the other skink. Chooses not to. Yep. Like this is this is better positioning to bang bang down the crocs. Like this skink isn't doing fuck all over here. Yeah, but, uh, you know, you could have moved this guy up, blitzed him, and then blocked him, so you get you get these two, which would res rescue all this stuff next turn. But it would leave you weaker here, so he has shored up the weakest part of himself, probably. Gets the pow. Yeah, but it's still oh. removal. Okay. Oh, one out of three. Yeah, not terrible, not terrible though. You know, it's something. Yes. Although, yeah, he is. Yeah, he's actually going to struggle to completely get his team together to protect the ball this turn. I think. 
because quite a few people just tagged out in random places. Mm. Does mean that the the orcs can't really put that much pressure on the ball, but but yeah. No, I mean it's you know it's you can you can you can have a super strong cage in the middle of the field, but um, oh he's got to beat this. One in nine. Brilliant. See, so we ended up really having the same kind of stuff over here, so we could have 3 feed that guy. Yeah. This is a really easy big old cage in the middle of the field, isn't it? So you, could, you could hang back with a ball if you wanted, or so you can just try and bang people out, or you can... Or... Yeah, so... That would have been my So point. that lineman can blitz the ball currently, so you probably move the skink just to the other side of the pitch, and then and then shore up the whole, the whole board. Or to the middle. Or you could just well, move in the middle. Well, yeah, go to the middle. I prefer going to the middle. Yeah, I think... Because mm -hmm. you've got block, right? You've got block with your dudes. So you're only like 1 in 12, 9, 6 away from disaster. Yeah, so that Saurus goes there, that Saurus This blocks. Saurus goes here. Ball goes there. Skin goes that, here. Is that lineman stunts? Which lineman? Or lineman next to the uh, skink. No, he's down there. No, oh, right, okay. He's not, he, but he doesn't need to be stunned, right? The ball goes where this guy is. Yeah. First, and then you have a full cage, and then you blitz this guy. Yep. And then you're pretty happy. <laughs> well, well, I guess the first thing you do is recover the crocs, right? Don't block with him, yep. just recover him. Get the ball back. But yeah, moving, moving away is fine too. I mean, you can do almost anything you want at this yeah. point. <laughs> Is what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Yep. Good day, Nick. It isn't Among Us yet, no, but this is actually working out quite well because at the moment PC is doing One World, One Blood Bowl. And Dimmy's watching One World, One Blood Bowl. So this will hopefully finish around the same time as One World, One Blood Bowl. Oh, Ball. there you go. Oh, Nick. VIP, <laughs> Nick. How are you doing, Nick? Long time to see. And then we can Among Us. Yeah, I can't, sadly, but. Oh. Dice. Dice indeed. It's better for the Yanks, isn't it, the Sundays? Like, you know, they've got they've got a bit more time. But uh, like yeah. on the Saturdays and the Sundays, whereas the Friday they're still at work, aren't they? So like it works out Friday and Saturday best for the best for the Euro the Euros and Saturday and Sunday better for the Yanks. Or Aussies as well, I guess. Yeah. Though Nick's so far away I've got no real idea. <laughs> <laughs> what, I think not, what time he's on at all. <laughs> I think he's on minus eleven or twelve, so it'll be no, nine the, in the, nine in the morning, the, ten in the morning. The opposite of us. Yeah. So that's still better for him at the weekend, though, right? So Saturday and Sunday yeah. as well. Yeah. Also, also, Jesus Christ, down there is summer now. Like, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> yeah. Hey, keep keep correctly identifying Naf, glorious. <laughs> This is enough. There is a yes. <laughs> Only one scope per player. Let me check if the if the icon is there. Yes, they got it. <laughs> is this enough? <laughs> where, where that comes from? Where that comes from? I miss that part of the lore. Oh, um, there was a game on the other day, and uh, somebody had a chunter. Chunter had a five skill uh, beast man. And Keith said, "Is this an AF game?" <laughs> <laughs> and I like, used two monster teams. It was it was uh, it was it was Chunter versus Tree, and they both had like giant giant teams. <laughs> and Keith's like, like you know, like fifteen player teams. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three and four skills on most players, and then Keith's like, "Is this NAF? <laughs> Brilliant. And then Hancock made the meme. Thank you, Hancock. And then and then Keith made a better one as well. Glorious. At my behest. No, so, I won't uh, give I've in until I'm victorious. <laughs> and really I will defend. He's got, actually, he's got Machu defend. Picchu behind him. <laughs> Chanter is the kind of guy that would have a five skill player in NAF. <laughs> and Alon Totelli is subscribing for 75 months. Gee. Oh yeah, um, 
you forgot to dedicate this game to a to a country, didn't you, Farmer? Oh yeah. Uh, I meanwhile, uh, yes, it used to be random, but now the the price of the random uh, countries is the same as a regular <laughs> country. So I'm just more or less dedicating it to Portugal every single time because there is no controversy to get there. It's a place that everybody likes, everybody knows, there is no problems, you know, things like that. <laughs> when it was random countries, it was dictator countries like most of the time. <laughs> it was. And this is the danger with going back now, right? He's, another skink got hit because he was spread out and he wasn't, he wasn't like, you know, he wasn't protecting his, his little shits. And now one stuck on Mighty Blow. And he's only got two skinks left, so this is uh, this is looking Ooh. pretty. I wouldn't say good for the Orcs. They're one nil down, and they've lost the ball, and they've only got four turns to turn them over and score. But it's looking less bad than it could look. And the yeah. the Crocs has gone the stupid bonehead. again. Yeah. Yeah, not ideal. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how you fix this. Do you have to sideline cage, maybe? A handoff, handoff, and score. Mm, not score, four plus, four plus hundred percent potato. Yeah, why not? Your other option is basically lose. <laughs> so I don't. Well, he's hate doing it. what I would have done, but maybe this is wrong again. I just, uh, I mean, this is all right. Yeah, it's all right. But I, I think, I think, you know, double GFI. Um, because you could do this blitz first, right? Before you move, before you move the skin cup, anyway. Yeah, and then if you power him, then you can. If you power him, you can go for the score. But if you only push him, then you do this. See what I mean? Then, then you've got your options open. Because obviously, if you pushed him, you couldn't go for the handoff. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I think yeah, there's a special, a super special admin tool for the NAF thing. Yeah. They are uh, they are the, doing the beta test of the admin tools, I guess. So you should, uh, taking a advantage of this occasion yeah and he re-rolls that which is horrible when you've only got two re-rolls because obviously it was more important to make this dodge and then he's realized he's done this fucking block and he's like but i can't get him hit by mighty blow <laughs> a blockless dodge yeah yeah that was that was like you know you've got to make this dodge first because you can't risk having to re-roll is that, that is that moment when you grab the dice and you are uh, throwing the dice and you see the miniature that you haven't paid attention to until <laughs> that exact moment and you <laughs> I just say, fuck. That's why dice cups are great. You roll the dice and then you just ignore them. Yeah. You can't see them. And then, of course, oh, you, know. you, you, roll, you don't roll the dice and ignore them. And then. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get an 85% win rate enough. Um, what do you mean, ignore the dice? If you have thrown the dice, you have some, thrown the dice. Somebody yeah, cheated, cheated trying me. Somebody, well, somebody was found cheating, obviously. <laughs> You know, hundreds of people could have cheated in this exact way, but one guy was found out cheating in that he was like not rolling the dice and then like yeah. waiting so long that people forgot that he hadn't rolled the dice and then uncovering them as if he had rolled them a long time ago. Yeah. Oh, oh the classic uh, <laughs> double block uh, play or uh, double blitz. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, spending enough time, you know, so people forget and they start making, okay, I'm going to move this, you know, what, what skills have your player? What, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, now the... Oh, yeah, I've had people, I've had people try a double blitz versus me, yeah. Classic. Yeah, let's see, I'll see if I can find the article for you. And, and the worst thing is, you know, people can make mistakes, right. can't they? Like, I don't think there's probably anybody involved in Blood Bowl who think PC attempted to cheat with his 10k extra TV, right? But, yeah. you know, that's only because you know him and stuff. Like, he could have just been a, an asshole that wanted to cheat an extra 10 TV, couldn't he? So, like, it's really bad when you just can't, uh, you can't determine intent in any, any way, shape or form. And you can choose to give people the benefit of the doubt, or, or you can or you can decide that, you know... I mean, yeah, pieces, in, in a game with so many moving pieces, <laughs> as a blood ball, you know, with the... Move the turn counter, check the skills of the players, blah, blah, the rolls, the dice, the scenes. Yeah, it's very easy to lose track. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and but it is easy to make mistakes as well. Yeah, that's the thing. It's making mistakes is easy, but uh, some guys, sometimes, you know, people make the same weird mistake that benefits them a lot. <laughs> yeah. Oh! He's got to re roll it. Mm. Um, I mean, no one to tabletop is now because he's being banned for cheating, so I guess. 
I guess he's been banned. I don't know. I don't know what his. Well, yeah. So they didn't. They didn't say who it was, but mm. there was only one eighty-five percent coach in the world who got all of his NAF trophies taken away from him. So <laughs> <laughs> you can guess. <laughs> I don't know. I say. <laughs> Is uh, 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 okay. What, what what part do I have to read about this uh, thing? What fourth. is the drama in the article you put on uh, this the, the fourth bullet point. The the well, not the fourth bullet point. The one that says four next to it. The the so, Berlin Open. Yeah. The Berlin. Right. Uh Yeah. So, and I think he got his. I, I think he can't play in tournaments for the next three years, and then at that point. There will be a. I can't remember exactly. I think it was a a whole committee review to see if they want him to be able to. Sorry, again. I, I, I anyway, right. I back. can't pause it, but I'm going to talk. He should have put yeah, this sorry. guy here. I think I hate that this guy wasn't here, because then he'd have to try and clear both. And because he put him there, he was just able to do this block and this blitz and and like clear, you know, clear the skink to get kind of through. I kind of hated that uh, that this guy was there. I didn't. I didn't think he was doing much at all. Anyway, sorry. Carry on talking yeah. about something completely unrelated yeah, to the, the match. I opened it, and the only thing I can see is a star's neck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the... All right, let it... it. It's a bit sad, obviously, but like, like somebody they trusted was. Uh... Yeah, I like this one day here. You... I like this one okay. D because then you can go through and get get the handoff right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, G if I hand off. Bish yeah. bosh bash. He's just he's just having to do the same play that I would have done the previous turn, but now he's added more dice to it because, you know. It's the thing. This is the thing, isn't it? This is the thing. I did think that was the play last turn. Because I just thought it wasn't gonna get better. And it didn't. And you like I think that's an important skill to know when you know, like, you know, when Elliot says it's not over, but you've got to know when it's, like, nearly over, right? And oh. uh, you've got to anticipate so that it's not going to be over. And he stacked them. He did the dodges wrong here. He did. The, he, he should have done the first dodge to here, not stacked, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Oh, wait, and there was only two anyway. No, yeah, it was one or two. So, yeah, he had to he had to choose, I think, one dodge in the GFI was better. But anyway, he made it. And he gets the four plus, three plus. Yep. There you go, it's and it's over. So there you go. I mean, fantastic call by me, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it feels good to be right. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's it. That, that's the whole thing. When I say that it's over and stuff, it's like it's realizing, like you know, how the tides turned, how the rest of the like, you know, how the future game, how the future turns are going to go and stuff, and realizing what you've got to do now because of how things are going to go in the future and stuff and and realizing how up against you are and stuff and he had to jam in harder there i think than what he did and he probably he had to make some gfis to like you know do things the orc because it was good that was going to be bad that turn that was going to be bad that turn like you know, well it was it was good but it had you know like that that play was going to be on right so he had to he had to lock down that play as much as he could uh, so he probably had to like do an extra dodge or something that he didn't do yeah. And now he's uh, now he's lost. Was that? Wait, was that a pitch invasion again? It was. Yep, it was these three and these three. Yeah. But, I mean, it's, it's over, right? He's only got yeah. three turns. Yeah. Definitely. I guess there could have been a timeout, and he could have scored in two, and then turned over in two. But also, he's orcs versus lizard men, so. <laughs> You're gonna have. <laughs> no. <laughs> Yeah, it was an interesting game for most of it, at least, I think. Yeah, yeah, it was, like, yeah. 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 and like, like the Orcs had, had things going in both halves, didn't they? Both halves, the Orcs had things going, but then both halves, Skinks were movement eight with Stunting. <laughs> <laughs> I remain surprised. This, uh, yeah, this is fine. Uh, it doesn't matter, though. Wow, uh, what a story. Yeah, I know. Right? The Berlin, the, my God. <laughs> All the mighty have fallen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's in, it is interesting the whole question of, you know, what's cheating and how many people cheat and stuff. And I, I think it's hilarious that somebody said, "Well, this guy's just being called for cheating," because that means that cheating isn't prevalent at all. And it's like it doesn't mean that at all. It means you've only caught one. 
<laughs> you know, it doesn't mean that because he was caught, he was the only one cheating, and you have a hundred percent success rate in catching cheaters. <laughs> it means yeah. that there could there could have been a thousand people that cheated, and one's finally being caught. It doesn't it doesn't mean anything that he's the only guy who's been you know had trophies taken off him or anything. Yeah. Was that a reroll, by the way? Or I think he did reroll it. Yeah, know. that's the last reroll gun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, well, I think there are a few people who I've had my suspicions of cheating. Then obviously, it's just like most people don't roll dice properly, and it's annoying as fuck. Mm. Um, which is, I, I completely understand reluctance to play tabletop. Just, just you know, it's it's the it's 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 hard to like find the borderline between like, being a dick and just telling yeah, somebody. The thing is, the thing is that kind of cheating, not throwing the dice, you know. But they, oh look, they were blah blah thing like that. I think all, even I, that the last time I played tabletop was literally decades ago, knew about it. It's something that is happening not only in Blood, but in most of dice games, you know, they're like... Uh, so, yeah. How prevalent yeah. it is, I don't think it's very prevalent at all in the Blood Bowl like community. I, you have the other coach in front of you most of the time, you know, so... Well, it's interesting, isn't it? And how much of it is just looking for every edge you can and stuff. Like, do you know what I mean? I think it's just all weird, isn't it? But uh, it's enough that I don't want to be involved in tabletop ever again in any system. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Muppet, make yeah, just make everyone use a uh, dice dome. Yeah, that, I've seen uh, I've seen people, you know, the frustration, like dice popper. I've yes. seen somebody put uh, block dice in there, yes. and you have one of one color and two of another color. And so, like the two green ones, that's for two dice. And if the orange one is for one dice, oh, that's, that's not the best way of doing it. You could have like three different ones. You just have, so you have you have one d six and one, two d six and another. Yeah, I mean, but you, you can probably they probably aren't very good either. I mean, you can probably game those to get better results anyway, can't you? Yeah. But, but uh, it's pretty funny. Cool. Anti cheating dice toy. <laughs> 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 that's brilliant. That's actually brilliant. What's this from? Uh... I, I just googled it. I just googled it, and I'm on this website that's got these, got these like little uh, multicolored egg-shaped dice cup. It's pretty good. Pretty pretty good little idea. Yep. Yep. Score of let's, let's, let's not talk about the you know the kinds of cheating like instead of using a. The actual model is bringing you the fucking head of clicks to the table, you know. So yeah. like, oh my god, that does my here. head in. That does my head in. Like, it actually does. Because, you know, and again, that's not like cheating, right? Because it's allowed. But, yes. and, you know, I don't think people are doing it to get any edge they can. But, you know, when you look at, like, Artemis' team, you know, on Blood Bowl 2, on Blood Bowl 3, right? When he was, a, when the, the, the glitch that let you change players and he changed all of his dwarves to have Troll Slayer heads. Yeah, it was annoying to play. Against. Yeah, people are annoyed to play that. Like that, they do, they are having to expend extra mental effort to distinguish his players, and it's the same as some fuckers using some fucking hero clicks bollocks, or like, oh, these Amazon team can be used as or Norse as well and stuff. And it's like, fuck off! I just want to know what the fuck these cunts are, and it's just it's just harder, isn't it? It is harder. And like, if, yeah, it's I just a fact. To play, I had to play against a uh, a Disney Disney princesses. Norse team once, and that was awful. Yeah. Holy oh, shit, man. Yeah, and it's it's <laughs> Cinderella. It, it makes me makes me wonder so much about the make me so many questions about the opposite coach <laughs> that brings his princess Disney uh, collection to play Blood Bowl is like I, I don't want to know what things you browse on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know your browsing history. Oof. No. <laughs> Just call the FBI and save time. You know, don't call the enough referee. Call the police. Call this guy. <laughs> well, it was it was a woman playing it. To be fair. So. Ah, all right then. All right. Okay. <laughs> still, still, it's another still. woman with the uh, Disney princesses as Norse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyone playing Norse should just be fucking sent to the fucking slammer <laughs> straight away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, 
No, but you know, like that's the thing. It's not. It's not that these people are doing it. Real life and just beat them to within an inch of their fucking life. I don't. I don't believe for a second that these people are using these teams because they think, aha, I'll get an extra point one percent win rate because people yeah. will be pissed off and stuff. But it it is making it harder for the people. You know, like I'm sure. You know, she thought, oh, Disney princesses are cool. I'll have this team. Blah blah blah. Whatever. And same with Kalon and his shitty fucking hero clicks. You know, <laughs> like I'm sure these people are are good people that are just thinking this will be cool and stuff. But again, they don't have to be, right? There, there will be, now for every like, let's say 100 or 1000 or 20 of people like that, whatever the number is, there'll be some people that are like, aha, I'll get yeah. an extra you know, 1% win rate by making all of my dwarves slayer heads so nobody knows where the real slayer is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> people will yeah. be doing it for the wrong reasons. They will. Yeah, Samich, should I do that for my for the Euro Bowl next year? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, obviously a bit of a rant there because the match was already over. Um, you know, well done. Congratulations, Fonzo. Commiserations, Kaldar. Not much to say about it. Okay. Good effort from Kaldar. Honestly, I thought a good effort. Two two yeah. big defensive push. Obviously, he had to make a defensive push in the second half because he messed up. Not it looks like didn't realize he had the ball in the mighty blow, Gary. Um, but yeah, but good good efforts both defenses. But you know, lizards are lizards. Actually, was a very tough match. I mean, lizards in this format that are absolute beasts. They are indeed. So there you go. Thank you very much, Fimir and Demento. Glorious having you guys on. It's always a pleasure to be here, and a big hello to the Portuguese Blood Bowl community. I hope you enjoy <laughs> the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure Cristiano Ronaldo will be watching intently. <laughs> watching intensely, watching intensely. There, there you go. You know. <laughs> I can imagine Cristiano Ronaldo playing blue ball and complaining about getting dice every single roll. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, he would just be, a, he would just be a Portuguese Artemis for sure. <laughs> I like to think. I like to think he's a Portuguese Artemis from watching other people play uh, football. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I've got no idea what his accent is, so I can't even try and do it. But, you could, yeah, you could imagine him screaming things like, you know, what the hell are you doing? Why didn't you, why didn't you just stop him? <laughs> I prefer to imagine, uh, imagine Ronaldo speaking in Artemis's thick Welsh accent. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Right. Anyway, on that bombshell, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.